I just finished grinding probably the most gruesome grind I could have possibly done. I just finished doing the Anthony Rizzo player of the month up to the point of getting Anthony Rizzo. Do I plan on actually completing it up to the point of getting those non-sellable packs? I'm not sure. But if you're wondering, hey Blade, did you buy a ton of packs in order to get yourself 150 standard packs? The answer to that is no. So look at my situation. I haven't been playing MLB The Show a ton, I'm not gonna lie to you all. That's why there hasn't been as much content as I'd like to have out there. I recently got back into MLB The Show probably two days ago and I had a ton of offline content to go ahead and do. When I'm talking about a ton of offline content, I'm talking about the other programs as well as the featured program. I had to get to my point of completion because without having a certain amount of programs completed I feel like I'm just slacking in general and I don't feel motivated to make content so I went ahead and completed every single other program up to the point of completion and the featured program up to the point of the bosses through that I went ahead and played the mystery map non-stop that is literally where I grinded out all of the parallel XP for the Anthony Rizzo program as well as all of the parallel XP for the uniform programs and the featured programs when it has the week two, you have to get it with certain teams. To me, it was one of the most annoying grinds in the world, but at the end of the day, if we get ourselves, let's say, a couple of Mike Trouts, I wouldn't be complaining too much. But one thing I do have to say, opposed to last year, parallel XP, it just has to go. I'd rather us have to get 20 hits with the monthly award cards than have to go ahead and grind 500 parallel XP with each and every single one. I know that some people say, oh, you know, it's worth it to go ahead and grind for cards and it's worth it to have grinds that are difficult, but there are grinds that are difficult and then there are grinds that are just not worth it. And this is one that is definitely not worth it in my opinion since the anthony rizzo card they literally replaced it within the next set of chase with that carlos delgado pack which is what we're searching for as well we're looking to maybe find ourselves a chase pack since i didn't buy a 50 pack bundle clearly we aren't in contention to get that carlos delgado but maybe we're lucky enough and in the 150 plus packs that we open up we get ourselves one now, I should be pretty close to finishing the Live Series collection just from opening up 150 packs, I'd like to say, of course. But inside these packs, I might not even get one diamond, which would break my heart. Because if I record this entire video and not get a diamond, I think I might just shave my head, to be honest. Because the amount of headliners, the amount of balling is a habits that we have, and if you didn't look at the end, because I probably didn't show you guys the end right now, there is the, I don't think it's a diamond choice pack, but it might be a diamond choice pack for the headliner. I forgot how I even got it, but I got it. I also have been slacking in terms of events, but luckily enough this year, I did not expect them to do this so soon. They brought back the event rewards, so that's pretty cool inside the rewind packs. So those cards are not going to get expensive as we continue to go down the line in terms of MLB The Show content. And we get a double diamond, so the sponsorship is a bat. That's not really too cool. Let's see who this diamond is going to be for us, although. Purple lights, so that means it's an 80... 5 to 89 from the Toronto Blue Jays, most likely Bo Bichette, if not Kevin Gossman. It's going to be Kevin Gossman. That's completely fine with me. I already have one of his, so that means that this second one is most likely going to be sold. Now, I'm not sure how I already have one of his. I think I might have been looking to flip him, and I put a buy order by accident. I'm going to have to check afterwards. But one diamond in uh, 50 packs, it seems like the odds are correct as of right now. And we get ourselves Zach Wheeler. Regardless, as I was saying, the content on this channel, I'm back, baby. That's all you got to know. I've been looking to hire an editor, but as of right now, the position is still open. I'm going to be giving a couple of guys some shots that reply to me in my Twitter DMs. I would really like someone that has knowledge in terms of baseball to be the editor rather than somebody that's never, ever 
played baseball or even watched baseball because it's difficult to go ahead and edit let's say pack squads and you don't know when to add the standard pack like if you have baseball knowledge as well as MLB the show knowledge and you are an editor and you want to go ahead and get paid for editing videos for example if you're a college student not doing much you can go ahead and DM me and I'll go ahead and see what your work is like as we get ourselves our second one and purple lights once again so it's unfortunate Texas Rangers this has to be Corey Seager I'm not sure if Marcus Semyon is still one. Oh, well that answers it Marcus Semyon still seems to be a diamond he's probably dropping out of diamond soon so I might want to sell that card off as soon as possible unless he has turned it around which I'm not 100% sure because another thing that I've been slacking on, yes, I know, you guys don't have to kill me about it, is the roster update predictions. I'm gonna let this Friday go on by and then I'm gonna try to bring out at least two a week. And I'm pushing for three. And this is my video that's basically saying I'm committing to this. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. That I'm gonna be pushing out a minimum of two and a maximum of three a week, a week when it comes to roster update predictions. Now that I'm getting more into, and before y'all say, oh, Degenerate, you know, I do some gambling on the side, like FanDuel, DraftKings, I don't do anything crazy, but I like looking at analytics and then trying to predict the outcome of the game. I do like dollar bets, so it's nothing crazy. I'm not like going to put my family in jeopardy of me living in the streets or me having to take out loans in order to go ahead and pay out any debt that I have or anything. It's, it's nothing crazy like that. It's just, you know, a little dollar bets or free bets whenever they offer you. Go ahead and break them down if you are able to do that because on FanDuel you are able to do that. And I just go ahead and, and it makes the game more enjoyable for me. Like you're rooting even harder for extra guys, especially in the NBA playoffs since my Knicks aren't there. And uh, all we have is Giannis, since I'm a big Giannis fan. That's all I have. You know, Russell Westbrook ain't there either. From the West Coast, I like the Warriors just because, you know, they were always facing LeBron. And ever since LeBron left Cleveland, that, that kind of, you know, roughed me the wrong way because I had all of LeBron's Cleveland Cavaliers gear originally. And then once he left, I felt like he left me too. You know, like the father that goes out to buy some milk and then never returns home. That's, that's how I felt, you know, that's how I even felt to ya when it comes to me leaving and not making content unless it's like a conquest map. I felt like the father that left to go ahead and get some milk never came back home and then, you know, he's hearing that his son turned out to be the number one prospect for the majors or even basketball, let's say a first round draft pick. And he's like, hey man, I went through so much in life to be at a point where I can go ahead and uh, come back to you and let you know that I'm here for you. Like, that's how I feel. But hey, it's not the same situation because unless it's news to me, there's nobody in here that's the number one draft prospect or first round prospect for either the majors or the NBA. Not saying that it's not possible for you to go ahead and become one, but as of right now, there is nobody that I know of. And like I said, man, if I opened up 150 plus of these and I'm not close to finishing up live series collections for most teams i am going to be hella disappointed or all this chapman we have a ton of his i'm gonna have to go ahead and clear my binder after this and that's probably gonna be the most tedious grind out of all and Corey seager he's had a power surge but his contact numbers aren't up there Corey seager is definitely someone though that you might want to pay attention because he does have a chance of going diamond in order for Corey Seager to go diamond all he needs to do is get the, those uh contact numbers up against both sides in terms of average once his average is sitting around 270 I'd say maybe even 250 260 especially if his power numbers continue to stay as they are you might go ahead and see Corey Seager actually go and get upgraded to diamond I like Xander Bogarts as well I've always liked Xander Bogarts I don't know why they drop him every single year back down to gold and then just upgrade him later on to diamond and then drop him back to gold but Xander Bogarts has been a solid hitter his entire career so I'm not sure what goes on inside their thought process when it comes to him but I'm definitely gonna look at the numbers and I'm gonna make a list and all of that which I go ahead and put out the early ones inside the discord so make sure you guys go ahead and check out the description for it as well 34 packs these 150 packs it's felt like an eternity I'm not gonna lie to you all but you know I'm happy that I'm at least getting something done when it comes to content we're also hopefully going to put out today a pack squads episode 
And if I could get some rank, okay, third diamond. Now we're feeling a lot better. Still purple lights though, so I'm not happy about it. We get ourselves someone from the Braves. So that's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be Matt Olson. Okay, I'll take Matt Olson. I'll take that sucker. 87 overall, not bad at all. So you know we're happy with that. I thought it was gonna be Ozzy Albies, since I know Ozzy Albies is also a diamond for the Braves as he got upgraded to that. Now, Matt Olson or Freddie Freeman? Who would you rather have on your team? Well, to me, the answer is pretty simple, you know, not because not I'm a Dodgers fan, but in general, you probably take the proven veteran in Freddie Freeman. Matt Olson, yeah, he, he's, he's, he's a solid piece, a great piece, actually, with a lot of time to develop and become even better since he's still young. But I take the veteran right now, especially at the state that the Dodgers are at, where it's, hey, most of your guys are aging to a point where they probably won't last two to three more years. Get the veteran that can go ahead and hopefully get you at least one more. Because that's definitely what they have to be going for. As we get ourselves Will Smith. 18 more packs. Come on, baby. If we get one more, I'm happy. I think we've gotten three so far. But if we don't get one more, I'm also not unhappy. I'm just like, it's whatever at this point. I would have loved to have seen a trout, but you can't get what you always wish for. If I see red lights, though, I'm going crazy. I promise you that. Oh man, what a life. What a life we live. Where well, we can open up 150 of these, get three diamonds. We got ourselves a diamond bat, but that doesn't really have any value. And uh, as I said previously, you're really gonna start seeing the Live Series cards just tank in value as well as we progress throughout the year. The only cards that will retain their values are cards that have projections of going up. I promise you that. That's why I tell most people, when it comes to doing the live series collection, don't go out of your way to try to complete it within the first three months. I know some of you might be completionists, but focus on getting all the other diamond exclusive cards inside the game that come from events or battle royale programs or ranked season rewards. And then last but not least, focus on the live series cards because I promise you, by the time the game is three to four months in, by the time we hit the summer, some of these diamonds will be selling for their quick sell value as the sirens are just going off non-stop inside the background right now. There must be something going on. They might be looking for me, they might be looking for you. I don't know, but I'm gonna stay low regardless, you know. I ain't in YSL, so definitely ain't looking for me right now. Eight balling is a habit packs. As I say, balling is a gold because there is never a diamond inside these packs. And each time I say balling is a gold, I have a feeling like, oh, maybe this time it will be different. But it just never is. You can get a diamond from one of these packs as well, and the Twitch packs have a higher chance of you pulling a diamond as well. I'm also gonna open up Cattell Marte headliner packs, but I haven't purchased them yet. So we get the uniform here, and uh, Detmers went ahead and threw a no-hitter. Noah Syndergaard said that if you don't throw a no-hitter where it's basically one pitcher, it doesn't really count as a no-hitter. So I thought that was an interesting take. How do y'all feel about that? In general, you think he's salty or he has no reason to be salty. Well, I mean the Mets threw a combined no-hitter. So I don't know. Do you think he's salty or not? <laughs> to me, it don't really matter. We get a gold here, Alex Bregman. Seen him a ton so far. He hit a nice little double today versus the twins. They're having a double header. All I needed was Gio Urshela to get himself a base hit. But you know, Gio Urshela won 0 for 5 today. And then they take out Buxton for the start of the first game. So I said, hey, man, just, just throw my parlay out the window for crying out loud. Jesus Christ. Come on, man. At least give me some hope. And uh, right now from Headliners, that's one thing we're not getting. Hope. I, I might not even open up the damn Cattell Marte one, to be honest. Because if this is what we're getting from these, what what is the point? You guys might say, oh, you might get lucky. No, I'm not going to get lucky at all. And what's crazy is we didn't even get a chase pack out of all these packs. So clearly the chase packs are like hidden packs that are almost impossible to get. And then we get a damn gold round here as well. Not even the diamond round. That, 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 that. Uh, I'm out of here.